What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com. Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I am your girl, Ash Brown. And yes, over 15, excuse me, over 1600 episodes. Woots, woots. And over half a million streams worldwide. Thank you guys for all of your love and support. I wouldn't be able to do this show without you guys, without the love, the shares, the cares. It makes a huge, huge difference. So keep supporting the movement. We got some new things coming up in 2021. We got a lot of stuff coming in 2021. But today, I am fortunate enough to speak with a young lady that is absolutely turning heads here and there, everywhere. Yes, we are talking about one selected for the Pan-African Film and Arts Festival the ultra talented young filmmaker herself, the fabulous Yakima Rich. Hey, Yakima. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on down. Come on so, down. Pretty much, I want to put you on payroll. <laughs> I walk into any room. <laughs> Y'all heard it first. Y'all heard it first. <laughs> I love it. But no kidding. love again. Thank you for having me. Thank <laughs> you. And, and you better correct them. Six okay. Years. Let them okay. know. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So, oh, you, you keep up. All right. What part of the country are you holding down today? Um, I am in Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. Mm. What kind of weather you guys having up there today? Uh, it's a little cold. Actually, it's. It's a lot of cold, okay? Like, it's windy out here. The trees are blowing left and right. It might blow away if you walk outside. It's a mess. But, oh, snap. but no so Maryland s- is just weird anyway with weather. Gotcha. But no snow. You guys aren't having snow. No, no snow. Okay, no that's good, snow. that's good. That's good, plus, plus. All right, so, Yakima, take us back. When did you realize that you wanted to be a filmmaker? Ooh. Um, well, acting is the primary, so I've okay. been acting since high school. Um, are we giving ages today? I, yeah, you, what you feel, girl, this is your story. So, so I've been acting for a little over a decade. Um, okay. And as far as filmmaking, I'm, I'm a baby to that. So my filmmaking mm. journey started in the last year and a half um, in terms of making my own film. So. Gotcha, gotcha. So what was the catalyst that pulled you into filmmaking? Uh, it's, it's funny, um, hearing your story, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Just as an actor, it's like, for real. <laughs> Just as an actor, you know, you're kind of, you're left to the whim of other folks mm. in the industry. You know, you're, you're left to their opportunity that, that you fit for or you don't fit for. Um, and I got to the point where I wanted to start using my own voice, telling my own story, Mm. and doing things how I wanted to do things, you know, creating my own opportunities. Right. So, it was time. Yes. It was time. You know, it started (laughs) with the writing journey, you know, just Mm. creating the story, and then I I didn't want to pitch it, you know, to anyone else, because I wanted to do it the way I wanted to do it, Mm. you know, so, went ahead and did it. Small indie style. <laughs> hey, hey, getting it done, though, girl. That's the that's the wave of the future, yep. as we see. You know, COVID living. You know, this. Hey, you want to get it done? Do it yourself. I love absolutely. it. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and, and I think we were um, just growing up as a kid. We were grounded in that. Uh, mm. My grandmother would tell us all the time: "If you want something done right, baby, you do it yourself." So yep. here we absolutely. are. Absolutely. So, what was the biggest challenge for you? Uh, transitioning from actor to filmmaker? Mm, um, so I think I was definitely ambitious this first time around, mm-hmm. uh, wearing a few different hats. Um, you know, with acting, it's very specific. You know, you're only wearing one hat. Right. And, um, you know, you kind of come in, you do your job, you go home, you know. Mm-hmm. But with the filmmaking aspect, there's just a lot, there's a lot more moving parts that you have to govern and um and honey it was quite a lesson <laughs> it, was, it was quite a lesson i imagine it you know. was <laughs> yeah so going weird. from you know just one primary thing to mm-hmm. a load of different things i'd imagine that's yeah. definitely something to you know to take uh you know piece by piece little by little you know it's like you know it's a whole new world you're like oh snap mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> mm-hmm. Like, thank God for, you know, I'm just very, um, I'm a stickler for organization and just mm-hmm. preparation. And it's like, thank God for that because that came in clutch a lot of the time. Absolutely. Well, con- well, congratulations to you for being selected for the Pan African Film and Arts Festival this year. Thank virtual. you. Thank you. <laughs> that I'm, I'm really telling good. you, and even that, that felt like a real ambitious tick when I was uh, submitting last year. Um, it was definitely at the top of the list. So yeah. for them to have hit me with that selection email this year, I could not believe it. <laughs> That is a blessing. So who who's the first person you called after you got that email? Ah, oh, my sister. I think it was my sister mm-hmm. that I told. <laughs> the first person. Yeah. Oh. Yep. So yep. Um, pe- she actually uh helped with the filming process. Uh, she should you know, she provided location. So oh. I always say like we got into another festival <laughs> you know, because you know, she's part of the team. So yeah. Now, for people that are unaware or just not familiar with it, what is PAF or Pan African Film and Arts Festival? Yeah, so the Pan African Film Festival is, I believe, it's actually the largest and most prestigious black Mm -hmm. film festival in the nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, of course, that was. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. Um, Yes, and they've what they've been doing their thing since like 92 yeah so they're also true to this and not new to this (laughs) yeah yeah so so how is this year going to be different with everything going on with covid you know we're so used to going to actual venues and events now this year the festival is going to be virtual yeah yep so uh it's an la based festival so they usually conduct it there but um you know, this year, due to COVID, it's going to be online. So uh, you can actually hit their website. And, uh, you know, they're pretty much running it as close to form as usual. You know, you can right. buy a one-time pass if you want to support, you know, just one piece if you're choosing. Right. You can buy a full industry or a full festival pass if you want to support the whole thing. Um and yeah, you know, I, I think it's a it's a blessing. You know, again, we were talking. I think it's a blessing in terms of just providing larger access to yeah. to films and and filmmaking. Um, you know, because usually, if you're holding it in one location, you have people who may not li- who may not live in LA. You mm-hmm. know, so they have to travel. You know, either internationally, they have to travel nationally. Yeah. And um, with it being virtual provide more access, you know, for people to support and view black films and black stories. So there's a blessing there. There's a definite blessing there. Um, I know it's a total switch up and it's a lot of moving parts to have to deal with with doing it a new way. But, you know, I think it's a blessing in disguise. Yes, absolutely. Making it work. Now, what can you tell us about your project that people will get to enjoy this year at the festival? Uh, so it's a series, um, mm. Milestones. So it's a five-part series, um, two of which will be shared for the festival, uh, episodes one and two. Mm. And um, it's a kind of a non-traditional coming-of-age story. Um, it's about two best friends who meet in college, and, and we pretty much see their friendship journey from age 18 to age 30. Mm. So a lot of lessons in love and friendship. Um, and I always think, like, pitch-minded. So, you know, just in pitching it and getting some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of comparison. You know, it's kind of like a insecure, meet, loving mm. basketball, you know, when Harry met Sally. You know, it's in yeah. that world. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Okay. Now, how long did yeah. it take for you guys to film? Uh, so, we did go over production schedule a little bit. Um Originally, I wanted it to be like a month or so, mm-hmm. and we went over two weeks, so about a month and a half of filming, okay. Okay. Uh, mostly weekends. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And if people want to get more information about you and your projects and what you got headed up next, because I know as the months go on, there's going to be so much more stuff going on, and hopefully we can see people in person in real life. But uh, if they need I to get... Hope so. I hope so. <laughs> But if they want to get in contact with you and check out some more of your projects and your upcoming work, where can they go and how can they follow you on social media? 
Well, yeah. Um, so definitely the primary is probably social media. Um, it's Yakima Rich on all apps, platforms, um, Twitter, IG, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, and website is yakima.rich at weebly.com. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And okay. hit me. Hit me. <laughs> DM me. It me. <laughs> yes, well, I know that Milestones is going to be a hit this year at the festival. Much success, because I know that there's going to be some more festivals that you pop up at. It's we only claiming that for you, baby. We only we putting that out to the universe. So. I, I'm on a few more to hit me with some hopefully good news. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna put that out there. You know, when I see a young black sister like yourself just doing amazing work, good work, you know, you putting. You know, you step that on faith, not by sight. I love it. I, I absolutely yeah. love, love, love it. So much more success to you, my sister. Keep pushing forward no matter what. Keep me in the loop with stuff because I want to hear about the next project and the next festival that you're in. You're going to have to come back. we just going to put that in the universe. You're going to have to come back. That's it. I will. I will. You got me now. <laughs> you got me. Certainly. Anytime. Anytime. Girl. Yes. I support and love what you're doing. Oh, so anytime. Thank you. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love, all of your support. It makes a huge difference. Keep in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.